Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Tally ERP9. In this video, I am going to explain how to learn Tally Prime. Now go to Tally Prime. Here this is the icon Tally Prime. Okay, once you click that uh, icon, you will get this screen. <coughs> So I am selecting the company. This is already existing company. You can select from here. If you don't have any companies, you click on this uh, create company. Once you click create company, here I am going to create a company at uh, e drive then tally dot erp nine slash money this is the folder this is the data of the here i am going to create the company okay you select this one say x y z the company name select the state of your company here I am selecting Tamil Nadu here you can enter the pin code like that say here 1422 that's it company creation is over if you have GST you, can, you have to fill this uh, details here now I don't have any, DA, any GST number so that yes company creation is over so I will go for uh, further here the select company this is I have created uh, selected if you don't have the company you have to go here and select the company if you want to select another company at a different folders just click here like that select company then here you can type the location of the company I am going to open another company Terry in the year P9 year P9 tally dot ERP money say here this is I am going to select the company the first one is uh, create uh, masters masters means ledgers you can create a ledger or group say a, a ledger means customer ledger or expense ledger or supply ledger or whatever you wish you have to go here enter the name of the customer then groups and take it out if it is an expense enter the expense account here you have to select uh, say example postage here indirect expense like that you have to create company ok group group means you can create a number of groups say example if you have clients customers at Bombay, Chennai, Calcutta you can create Chennai customers like that even you can create this is currency it is not required this is voucher type. You can create a number of voucher type. That means sales, like uh, sales, grid sale, cash sale, like that. Too. You can create the voucher types. This is the groups. And groups means uh, <coughs> stock groups. That means uh, if you have a showroom, mobile showroom, you can create a mobile as a group. and the uh, cards you know that is uh, what do you call uh, uh, 
or if you are selling the TVs, you can create uh, under group TV. Under the group, you can create number of items. So here, this is the item. Let's say example item Sony TV model say like one zero zero zero. It comes under group Sony. Okay, units means numbers. Your stock items may containing num in numbers or cages or liters, whatever it is. This is the godon. Godon name you can create. So this is over. Alter. Alter means already you have created ledgers or groups, whatever it is. You can alter that names. Okay. Here you can rewrite whatever it is and save it. Overall, I will tell you after uh, entering the masters, you have to go here for vouchers. This is the receipt voucher, say example cash. Suppose you have received one from your customer 5000 rupees cash. Example here, there is no ledger, so I am going to create. Press Alt C Customer 1 Under Groups and read it all okay. Say 5000 Main Amount Received From Customer 1 Okay this is the receipt voucher. Say payment voucher, say cash, salary, Alt C. There is no salary account here, so press Alt C to create salary. Under indirect incomes, here it is not required. Say 1000. Paid salary. Salary. That's it. Then receipt payment is over. Contra means uh, cash deposit. You can use contra for cash deposit and cash withdrawal. Here I am using 2002 to bank account. Here there is no bank account, so I am going to create here HDFC bank under group bank accounts, right? You can fill the account number, IFSC or whatever it is. Say cash. I am going to deposit cash into bank, say 2000. Cash deposited to HDFC Bank. That's it. Now I am withdrawing the money from bank. While withdrawing here, enter cash. Here, enter the bank account. Say 1500. Cash withdrawn from bank. From HDFC bank. Okay. Sales and purchase ledgers. We will update soon because of its length subject. Now this is the over.